Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to dive into all things taxes and income and expenditure because in the music industry, I feel like when you research everywhere, there's just so much information. As I said in a previous video, when I talked about um, UK taxes and the district kid tax form that you have to fill out, I will link that above somewhere. But um, in that video, in the comments, somebody asked me for more information and another question about taxes and how you declare it in things because I feel like no matter where you search online for this information I feel like you have to look in many different places to come to the full understanding of everything like I have researched it so so much in my own journey and you have to go through so many videos and so many articles to get the full picture of what you need to do and even then, I feel like you still then need to research individual things that you're trying to figure out. So I wanted to just combine as much as possible into this one video. So hopefully you'll understand what it is that you need to do and how to go about it for yourself. So when you are a music artist, especially if you're independent, you are self-employed. You do your own taxes, the distribution companies and everything do not do it for you. Even record labels, they do not do it for you. So you are self-employed and you do everything yourself. So even though DistroKid could keep a percentage of your money, once you fill out the uh, the tax form that I showed you in the previous video, they will then no longer withhold your earnings and it will all come to you and then you have to do your taxes yourself. So the first thing that like is so important is to keep track of how much you are spending and how much you are receiving, how much you're earning. So no matter what business you're in, you have to do this anyway. But for music, I feel like it's a little bit more, not complicated, but just a little bit vague because of the fact that your income is coming from multiple streams and your expenses are going in so many different directions for different things, especially if you offer merch, if you tour, like all of these things are a part of your business so all of them matter and all of them needed to need to be accounted for so it's very very important to I have a spreadsheet like to literally use either an accounting software that you pay monthly for or to just open up an excel spreadsheet and list all of your income and all of your expenses and your expenses includes things like your equipment it includes things like your marketing budget it includes things like your music videos and how much you pay for studio time how much you pay for your merch and for samples of your merch how much you pay for I don't know like um, mixing and mastering services maybe or your artwork graphic designer like everybody and everything that you have to pay for in order to run your business in order to create your music and any other products that you sell or services that you offer you need to keep a record of how much you're spending what you're spending it on and how much you're receiving so if you have a manager, how much you're spending on them, like how much you're spending on a videographer to shoot things for you, you know, photo shoots, literally everything. You need to keep a record of it because you can get tax write-offs, you can get like the VAT, you can get VAT back and stuff on certain things. So it's really, really important to keep track of your expenses, especially at the start, because at the start, you're most likely investing a lot more money into your business than you're getting out so you can um when it comes to like your corporation tax or whatever you're registered as when it comes to especially in the first few years of needing to work out how much tax you owe if you've kept a record of all of your expenses you will likely not need to pay any tax because your income will have been very low compared to what you've spent so you need to keep a record of it so that you can then declare things accurately and also not have to pay so much tax out because like if you've earned say you earn a hundred pound but you didn't keep a record of any of your expenses you're going to have to pay tax on that 100 pound but say you've then spent a thousand pound on so many 
things to do with your business to even earn that £100, you're not going to need to pay tax on it because you've spent way more and it was on those specific things that created that £100, if that makes sense. Like, you can't declare it on, um, you can't declare de expenses on random things that are irrelevant. Like, you can't declare it on your food shop or something that's nothing to do with your business, you know, it has to only be things that are in your business, things that you actually utilize and need in order for your business to f function, in order for it to run. So yeah, it's very, very important to keep track of those things. And then depending on what you're registered as, you would go on to the government website or to HMRC and you would fill out the correct form when it is time. Like they will email you, send you letters and those kind of things to remind you of the date. And your date sticks to being the same every year. So now I know every year when I need to have them done by. And I keep a record of everything in advance. Because filing taxes is usually a year behind kind of thing. So it's much easier to be able to keep up with everything. Because the, the year that you're filing for is not the current year that you're in. It's the previous year. So I think that kind of makes things a lot easier as well. Because then you're able to make sure that you've got all of your Excel spreadsheet completely organised and laid out straight for yourself. So you know exactly what you're filing. So once you have your full list of all of your income and your expenses, you can then total it all up and work out exactly what you've spent on certain areas of your business. So one might be like office supplies and admin and the other might be your actual, um, I can't remember the criteria that's on HMRC of what how they break it down. They break it down into a couple of categories. I think one was office and one was something else <laughs> and that something else is where you would put like your equipment and your um, marketing and all of that kind of stuff everything else basically so definitely look on the government websites because all of the information will be there of what you actually need but just make sure that you keep a record of all of your income all of your outgoings and then the totals at the bottom for your tax period. This is also why I say that you don't need to register a company straight away, especially if you're not earning any money, because you'd have to fill out these forms even though you're not bringing in much money. So it's really not worth the hassle and the paperwork for barely anything coming in or nothing coming in. It's best, in my opinion, to wait until you're actually receiving money on a regular basis and then register as a company. Otherwise, you're just going through a lot of effort for no reason, which is what I did because I was impatient and started it way sooner than I needed to. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely comment down below if you have anything to add or anything else that you want me to elaborate on. There is so much information out there, I know. But honestly, once you come to understand how the financial wonderful system of taxes works it will become a lot more straightforward and then as you progress and you're able to hire an accountant it will be a game changer and I can't wait for that day for myself when I don't have to worry about doing these things but also it's important to know these things for yourself because then nobody can rip you off nobody can like do things sneakily because you will understand exactly how it works and you will have done it for yourself so yeah I think it's quite an important skill to or is it a skill? <laughs> Quite an important thing to know how to do. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music, my phone number, my social media, my Elemental Mirror jewellery brand. This is my necklace that I'm wearing. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say I